welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a foundation first impressions. I don't remember the last time I did a foundation first impressions. I loved doing those videos and I don't know why I stopped. I think because the whole like the makeup community and the beauty community kind of took like a downward spiral and no one was really wearing makeup, no one cared about makeup, no one was buying makeup. The makeup that was being released was just not very good. So I think I just kind of stepped away from that side of things altogether. And recently I feel like a lot of, you know, the makeup community and the OGs are kind of coming back and a lot of people are getting their spark back for makeup and it's really inspiring and it's really kind of nostalgic in a way. And that kind of like, you know, put a wild hair up my ass and I decided to kind of jump back into reviewing things like mascaras and foundations. Those are like my top two favorite things. I also heard about this foundation and I was super intrigued and I really wanted to get it for a first impression. So that is what we're gonna be doing today. Now, I am not a makeup artist. I am not a beauty guru. I am not anyone who is like high level skill at makeup. I am just someone who is very, I'm a very average person. I have, you know, real skin. This is my skin. I feel like without being filtered, without being, you know, Botoxed and all this other stuff, like I feel like my reviews show you what these viral products will look like on real skin as opposed to someone who has perfect skin and doesn't really need foundation. The foundation that we are going to be trying today is the Maybelline New York Super Stay Hybrid Powder Foundation. Here is what the packaging of this stuff looks like. I'm sure you guys have seen this all over social media and TikTok and it first came out. Now I tried a powder foundation in the past. I think it was by L'Oreal and that one was so disappointing. It was, it oxidized so much. It looked awful. So I kind of stayed away from powder foundations, but after seeing this one, I got really excited. It comes with this little like powder puff thingy and a mirror and then the actual product looks like this and I got the shade 118. Also please excuse my nails. I just took my acrylics off that I've had on for like two and a half weeks so my nails are suffering but uh, yeah anyway besides that this is like a powder like it has a powder consistency but it acts as a foundation okay that's basically what a powder foundation is so this foundation is $14.99 it has a review of about 4.2 stars on the Maybelline website and it says get your soft matte look with Maybelline New York super stay up to 24 hour hybrid powder foundation this medium to full coverage superhero hybrid delivers up to 24 hours of super staying power. Fueled by super resistant hybrid technology, it, this formula unites the best of both worlds. The performance of a liquid with the comfort of a powder. Super lightweight, super comfortable feel. Long wear that is sweat resistant, water resistant, and transfer resistant. Resists caking and patchiness. Just swipe it on and you're ready to take on the city. So I guess it's supposed to be very light and fluffy on the skin. Um, hopefully it has good coverage because we need some help in the coverage department. And the shade range is okay. I feel like it could have been better, especially in the warm department, but... You know, I, I, I just feel like we're fighting an endless battle with makeup companies when it comes to foundation shades because... <sighs> you guys it is it's such a constant problem like what is so fucking hard about making shades that are dark enough for people you know like what is so fucking hard yeah we are going to give this the ultimate test today because i am actually going somewhere today i'm going to craig's cruisers okay if you guys don't know what craig's cruisers is or you don't have a craig's cruisers basically it is a giant arcade building where they have like um, go-karts, a trampoline park, ar traditional arcade games, um, like a bounce house, just fun things like that. I am going to celebrate a family member's birthday. They are on the younger side, so that's why we're going to Craig's Cruisers. And, you know, I, I can have fun. Like, I'm ready. Let's go. I'm ready to jump on a trampoline. Let's do this shit. So this is going to get the ultimate test. We are going to wear this, and we're going to go to Craig's Cruisers. We're going to run around. We're going to jump on the trampolines. We're going to get a little bit sweaty, and we're going to see how this holds up. 
So it is currently, what time is it? It is currently 9.09 .09 in the morning. If you guys can see that. And I am leaving at noon to go to Craig's Cruisers and I probably won't be back until around 4, 4.30. First, let me get my hair up and out of the way and my hair is absolutely crazy and i am going to be wearing a primer with this because i feel like with powder foundations so for my primer i'm going to use this one by laura mercier this is the laura mercier pure canvas primer and this is in hydrating so we're really going to want to hydrate that skin well, i'm just going to rub this all over the face especially where i'm really dry kind of like down here and all the way around we're gonna give that a minute to sink in and I am going to be applying this foundation with a wet damp beauty blender because it is a powder foundation and I feel like you really want it to kind of sink into that skin so I feel like using a damp beauty blender is really gonna help it like you know like adhere to the face so I am gonna use that I'm not gonna use the little puff that it comes with I cannot believe these are still being put in makeup today like what the fuck? Like, do, does anyone actually still use these anymore? I remember, like, my mom, when my mom used to wear, like, in order Mary Kay makeup, like, back in the early 2000s and the 90s. There were an abundance of these in our bathroom. I'll never forget it. So every time I see one of these, I think of my mom. Why do we still make these? They don't even, they're not even good. Okay, and I'm also just going to be putting on a little bit of concealer before we apply the foundation. And I'm just going to just dab the concealer in just a couple little problem spots that I really want to make sure are covered. The concealer that I use is also, again, by Laura Mercier, and this is the Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer. Also, I am using a new, well, it's not new, but I'm using a different camera lens and my new external microphone. So, what do you guys think? Does everything look good? Does everything sound good? I had to switch to this lens because my other lens, I was still getting a lot of that autofocus noise even with the external mic, so I had to switch to an STM lens. So that's what that's the lens that I'm using right now. So how does everything look? Does everything look okay? Sound okay? You know, sound off because this stuff, you know, matters to you guys. So you guys have to like it because if you don't like it, I don't know what I'm gonna do but you guys have to like it because you guys watch my videos. So let me know how it sounds. I worked for like two hours last night trying to figure out this whole camera issue. So, okay. So here's the foundation and here's the damp beauty blender. I'm just gonna go in like this. Okay, here we go. And we're just gonna start. Wow. Holy shit. Could have blended in that concealer, huh? Okay, so I think I got the color pretty darn accurate. I was like really struggling in the store trying to figure out what color to get because I was in between a couple of them and I went with this one and I'm really glad I went with this one. All right, we're gonna start over because that concealer I put on underneath it, it was just not vibing well and it just, it looked horrible. So we're just gonna start all over. Round two, let's try this again. Powder foundation, damn beauty blender, just gonna take it and I'm just gonna start dabbing. So the coverage is really nice. It definitely is very, very, very powdery. It's very dry. So if you have like really dry skin, this is not it for you. Like, I used to have really, really oily skin, but as I've gotten older, it's more or less like combination skin. So I do have like some oily spots and I have some really dry spots and I can feel it kind of sitting and catching. I mean, the coverage is really nice. Like that was just one go. Here is like this side compared to this side. As you can see, we have coverage, it's really nice. It looks really natural, like it doesn't look super cakey. I feel like this is not a foundation that you're gonna be able to pack on layers because it's gonna look really bad if you do that. And I don't think you're gonna be able to put any liquid products on top of this, so I don't think you're gonna be able to put on any concealer over top of this. Today was not the day to try that new concealer trick, let me tell you, I had to start all over. I don't like putting foundation on my ears just because of all my piercings. That just is a pain in the ass. So 
I'm just gonna put a like right next to my ear. Here's what this side of my skin looks like. As you can see, it is a little bit, you know, it's catching on certain things. Like this foundation will it definitely will grab. So I'm gonna do the other side of my face now. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I have a feeling this foundation may look a little bit better once like my natural oils start to come through. I feel like that's when foundation looks the best for me is like a couple hours after application is when my natural oils finally start to poke through and it kind of like helps drink that foundation a little bit because before foundation never looks good right when I first apply it. It always takes me a minute to like get it to look good and I have to just wait for my natural oils and my natural skin to do the work. I think I nailed it with the color. That is something I've always struggled with. I always get either way, way too light or way, way too olive toned. I've always, always struggled with that with foundations, but this one, I think I really nailed down the color. Here's what my skin looks like with the powder foundation all over the face and down the neck. I just have one layer of it everywhere. I am not gonna put any more of this on because I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but it is on there it's on there we got we got some coverage all right like that is uh that is some coverage so i'm not going to apply any liquids over top of this because i feel like that would just be a nightmare so i'm literally just going to be trying this foundation today i'm going to have like my bronzer blush and highlight and all that stuff but as far as like extra powder not needed concealer not needed there's absolutely no smell to this foundation either in case any of you are wondering i don't smell anything coming from this so that is a good thing if you're someone who is sensitive to like perfumes and makeup uh, i don't smell anything from this so that is good so i think what i'm going to do next is just apply some bronzer i'm just going to use my rimmel london natural bronzer and i'm just going to bronze in all my normal areas it feels so weird to not be putting like my concealer or extra powder on like that's just not what I'm used to but I mean the coverage looks pretty good like I'm not upset with that coverage at all it still looks like skin I'm just applying some bronzer to my temples and just on my cheeks a little bit we're not gonna contour I'm not really a big contouring person okay, next I'm just going to do my brows really quick and for that I'm just gonna be using this elf instant lift brow pencil just looks like that. This is my all-time favorite brow pencil. So, okay, so I've been struggling a lot with my eyebrows because, as you guys know, I have had bangs for, like, the last two, two and a half years, and I made the decision to finally start growing my bangs back out again. So while I had my bangs, I hardly ever did my brows, and if I did do my brows, I did them kind of sloppily because it didn't matter because my bangs would cover them. But now that I'm growing my bangs back out, my brows are going to become a lot more visible. I'm trying to like get back into the routine of like learning how to do my eyebrows again. So just give me some grace here while I try to figure out uh, my eyebrow situation again. Over top of my brows, I'm going to go in with this NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. It's just a clear eyebrow gel just to kind of set these babies in place a little bit. Next for blush, we're gonna go in with an oldie but a goodie and that is my NARS Deep Throat Blush. Like look at how filthy this packaging is. Like what on God's green earth it's just a really pretty, nice, simple pink blush. Yeah, you can definitely still see like some texture on my skin. Like you can see where I have like the raised blemishes, but I mean, that's okay. Everyone has texture on their skin. Everyone has blemishes. Right, and then for highlighter, we're gonna go in and use one that I haven't used in such a long time, but I absolutely love this highlight. And that is this one by Laura Mercier. And this is in Highlight 01. This is a matte radiance baked powder. It's just absolutely freaking beautiful. And Okay guys, so here is an up close view of what my skin is looking like. You guys will have to let me know what you think about it, like how you think it looks. Of course, obviously we will be doing check-ins throughout the day. So like a couple hours after, the afternoon, you know, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to go and finish the rest of my makeup off camera and then I will come back and check in with you guys. But before we go, I am going to be applying a little bit of 
facial spray. It's the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Holy Mist Facial Spray, the soothing one. And I'm just gonna do this just to give my skin a little bit of a drink and kind of just suck up all of this product that we have on, so. So it is now 9.45 in the morning. I have everything on, everything is set. So from here on out, we are gonna start doing check-ins and we're gonna see how this foundation wears throughout the day. So I'm gonna go finish my makeup and before I head out the door, I will show you guys a little check-in. Make sure you stay tuned and I will see you guys, well, in a couple hours, but for you in a second. All right guys, I am here to do my first check-in with the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour powder foundation. So it is now currently 1118 in the morning. So it has been over an hour that has given my skin enough time to kind of let my natural oils come through and just kind of drink that foundation up a little bit. And I'm here to give an update. So here is what my skin is currently looking like about an hour later. It already looks like I've had this foundation on for several hours. Like, I mean, it's it doesn't look bad. I don't think it looks bad. I can't decide if I'm like crazy about it or not. I am getting ready to head out for the afternoon, so it is gonna be interesting to see how this does out in the world and while I'm doing stuff and things like that. So I, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about it. There's something about it that I just can't really pinpoint what I hate, you know what I mean? If that makes any sense, I don't know if I'm making any sense here, but this does say 24 hour wear, which is quite a bold statement. I mean, I don't know anybody who actually wears their foundation for 24 hours. My skin feels really light though, like it feels, it doesn't feel like I have any foundation on my skin. Like, you wear foundation on your skin, you know you have foundation on, you know, when you get it, when you get that sort of thing sometimes. This one just feels really light. Like when you touch my skin, it just, it feels like my skin. Like it's, it's a very bizarre feeling. As far as like the dryness, it doesn't feel too dry or anything. It feels really good. Cause I know when I first put it on, I was like, ooh, I could totally see this being really dry. It, that went away. So I'm just, I'm in between right now. I'm kind of in the middle. So we will see how the rest of the day goes and I will check in with you guys again very, very soon. Hey guys, just here to do a little check-in. It is currently quarter to six at night. And I just got back from Craig's Cruisers. It was a lot of fun. We were there since like 12.30 and I went on the trampolines. I played the games. I did everything that I could to make myself sweat and I did sweat. So let's see how the foundation looks. As you can see, there is quite a bit of like oil my eyeliner and lipstick are are fucked, okay? So just ignore that. But the foundation itself looks pretty good. I am doing this check-in on my phone, so I'm sorry if the quality isn't that great. It looks pretty good. It didn't look like it transferred anywhere or like rubbed off anywhere. Everything is still covered. Everything still looks really good. Like, again, my skin feels really light. Like my skin feels like skin. So I'm really impressed with that. I thought, you know, that was a great aspect, especially for things like today while I was like jumping and sweating. Aside from being a little bit oily, I'm not, I'm not mad at it. So I do like it a little bit more now that I got to wear it and experience it. It did not oxidize. The color still looks really good, I think. Let's see, I put this on at like, what was that, nine o'clock, nine something. So it looks good, guys. My lips though. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna go inside and I will do another check-in in a little bit. But so far, so far so good. Hey guys, so we are officially 12 hours into wearing this foundation right now. It is 9.35 p.m. I think the last time I checked in with you guys, it was quarter to six. So this will be my final check-in with the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour wear hybrid powder foundation. The last time I talked to you guys, I was coming home from Craig's Cruisers and I sat down to finish watching a documentary and then I fell asleep on the couch, which as you can see has done this, whatever this is. I don't know. Oh, it's like a crease. I think it was a crease from my um, sweatshirt because 
whenever I have makeup on, I think I've talked about this before, but whenever I have makeup on and I go to lay down on the couch, I lay on like a shirt or a sweatshirt so I don't get makeup all over my couch pillows. So I think this is a crease from my sweatshirt, from laying on my sweatshirt. Here is what my skin looks like 12 hours of wearing this foundation. So to me, it's starting to look really gross. Like it, it almost looks like I'm wearing like a clear face mask. Like, I don't know, it's so weird looking. It doesn't look good anymore. So I don't know about the whole 24 hour thing because like we're 12 hours in and this is ready to come off. Like it's, it's not looking cute anymore. Like it's time to go wash my face for sure. Here is what this side looks like. It's very, yeah, I mean, and it looks like it has rubbed off a little bit, kind of like right here in this area, but not too, too bad. Uh, yeah, same with over here. Oh yeah, really bad over here. See, this is my skin and the foundation, so it definitely rubbed off over here while I was sleeping. Also, look at my under eyes. I don't even know if you guys can see what my freaking under eyes look like, but they look so... Like, they're so wrinkly. But just for funsies, I'm gonna go back in with this and I'm gonna go in with just a dry beauty blender now. And I'm just gonna see what it does if I go to touch this up. So here's what it looks like if I just went over it with a second coat and it definitely matted it back up as you can see, but yeah, it's, it looks cakey. It looks tired. My skin looks really tired. My skin looks really stretched out. It, yeah. My final thoughts on this foundation. I'm very kind of in the middle with it right now. I feel like I'm going to have to use it a few more times to really kind of develop more thoughts and feelings on it. This one's okay. I thought the coverage was really nice. I thought the color was really nice. It did not oxidize at all. I thought it sat on the skin okay. It had pretty good coverage. It feels, I think the best thing about this foundation, honestly, is that when it is on your skin, it doesn't feel like you're wearing makeup. Like when I'm doing this, it feels like I'm touching my bare face, if that makes sense. I don't know. It's, I have such a love-hate relationship with it. I love it, but at the same time, I'm like, eh. please let me know down below what you thought of it. What was your experience like when you used it? Am I doing something wrong? Is there something I could be doing differently? I had a lot of fun doing this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well. What do you think of my face? If you did, as always, please go down and give it a huge thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Also, if you are new to my channel and this is the first video of mine that you are seeing, please go down and hit that red subscribe button. I would absolutely love to have you join the family. But as for the rest of you, I love you guys so very much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video video. I love you guys. Bye. Mwah. I'm so sleepy. <laughs> Being a kid for a day is hard.